What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel, and this one I'm headed to the game in Portland, Oregon to play in their 200 buy-in, 10k guaranteed tournament. Let's get into it. I take my seat at the table, and literally the very first hand I get dealt, I look down at pocket kings. Nice. Under the gun player limps, I bump up the action to 400, small blind calls, and under the gun calls. We go three ways to a flop of 9 queen 5 with 2 hearts, small blind checks, and under the gun decides to lead out for 800. Most of the time my opponent is going to be doing this with a queen and a weak kicker, a 9, sometimes they'll try to set their price to see a turn with a flush draw, and on some occasions they'll be doing this with a set, trying to get max value from an overpair. I want to get value and or charge most of those hands, so I race to 3200, small blind cold calls, okay and under the gun makes the call. Still three ways to the turn, which comes to six of diamonds. And on this card, under the gun announces all in. Two and a half times the size of the pot. What the hell is going on? There's two flush draws on the board, so I suppose some players would just overshove here with a set to protect against the draws. Maybe they could be doing this with two pair, looking to get max value from an over pair that they somehow turn a straight. I am so confused right now. I've never played against this opponent before. I'm looking at them, trying to get some sort of read, and uh, I hate to judge a book by its cover, but they look like the type of player who could be doing all types of weird stuff. I hate finding myself in this spot with just a pair, but again, having never played against this opponent, I can't break myself to make such a nitty fold. I make the side call, small blind gets out of the way, and under the gun shows, King 5 of diamonds, what the fuck? They limp called my raise pre-flop, bet and called my raise on the flop, and here we find ourselves on the turn, it's my pair of kings versus their bottom pair and flush draw. We go heads up to the river, which comes the 10 of diamonds, fuck. They make their flush, and just like that, I am out, first end of the tournament. Thanks for watching, good luck at the tables, and see you in the next one. Psych! I really wasn't planning on rebuying in this tournament because I don't think it's great value, but I also wasn't planning on busting in the first hand. So here we are. I rebuy for another 200 bucks. I'm in this for 400 now. In this one, I pick up Ace Jack suited in the big blind. There are limps from the middle position player, cut off, and small blind. Actions on me, I'm going to raise to 2000, and both the middle position player and cut off make the call. We go three ways and basically action checks around to the river. I show my ace high and it's good. I take the pot down. I peel pocket tens of the cutoff and there's a pretty large open for middle position to 3500. I decide to just make the call and we go heads up to a flop of eight four ace two diamonds. Middle position c bets for 3500. They could have an ace, but they could also be taking a stab with a whole lot of hands that my 10 still beat, so I make the call. The turn is a break, and now middle position goes for a full pot bet of 15,000. They're the same player from the king's hand, which is why I'm very reluctant to folding, but I ultimately let my cards go, and they show ace-king for top pair. In this one, there's an open to 1,600 for middle position. Action folds to me in the big blind, and I 3-bet to 4,500. Middle position folds, and I had pocket jacks, picking this one up pre-flop. I decide to take the 100 bucks add-on for an extra 25k chips, so I'm in this for 500. I look down at 9-4 in the big blind, and there's a limb for middle position. Small blind completes, I check my option. Action checks to the river, which comes a 9 to give me the win chips coming my way. I pick up ace-8 suited on the button and action folds to me. I make a standard open to 2500 and both the small blind and big blind make the call. Three ways to a flop of 3-10-10, two diamonds. This is the kind of flop where I like to throw out a small c-bet as it tends to get the job done more often than not. However, I don't get the opportunity to do so as the small blind donk leads for 6000 and both the big blind and myself fold. I peel pocket eights in the under the gun one position and I open to 3000. Action folds around to the small blind who makes the call. We go heads up to a flop of 3, 10, ace, two diamonds. 
Small blank checks to me, and with two overs to my pair and no diamonds in my hand, I decide to check this one back. The turn comes the, the ace of spades, putting a second flush draw on the board. Small blind checks to me again, and here, I think there's a good enough chance my 8s are good and could use some protection against over cards and flush draws. I bet 6,000, and it gets the job done. In this one, there's a limb for middle position. I get dealt king-queen suited in the big blind. Small blind completes. I bump it up to 4,200. Middle position makes the call, and small blind gets out of the way. We go heads up to a flop of 9 deuce 4 rainbow. This particular player is praying extremely loose passive, and I think a bet will get them to fold a lot here. I throw out a bet of 3500, and as expected, middle position folds. I look down at ace jack off suit in the small blind and open up the action to 3500, and the big blind makes the call. We go heads up to a flop of 3 king 8 2 spades. I could go either way between a check and a bet here. I decide to see bet for 4500. And the big blind, who has been a thorn in my side so far in this tournament, raises to 12,000. <sighs> Starting to get a little frustrated, I make the fold. Big blind flashes a king for top pair. Nice answer. On to the next one. I pick up pocket nines in the low jack and open to 3,500. Action folds to the big blind who 3 bets to 11k, which is about a third of my stack at this point. <sighs> Out of all three options, I think flat calling is the worst, so this is going to be either a fold or an all-in. I started the hand with about 25 big blinds, so I actually have just about the right stack size to 3 bet all-in. On the other hand, I know that the best I can hope for is to be flipping in this spot. I could already be crushed by an overpair. I came into this tournament wanting to practice patience and not rushing to put my whole stack in, so ultimately I opt for a fold, but I am getting pretty annoyed at this point. I peel King-10 offsuit in the small blind, I decide to just complete here and the big blind checks their option. We go heads up to a flop of Jack, 9, Queen, 2 spades, BOOM! I flop the nuts. Since I'm holding the king of spades, I think I could check here and let my opponent catch up, but I also think this flop has plenty of potential for my opponent to have hit something, so I throw out a bet of 2400, and the big blind, who's been betting and raising me all tournament long, finds the freaking fold. I keep it cool on the outside, but inside I am fuming. Forty-five minutes go by before I find a spot to get involved again. I get dealt a6 offsuit in the cutoff. Action folds to me. With eight big blinds in my stack, I'm going to open shove and try to pick up the blinds and any. Well, wouldn't you know it, my friend to my left snap jams and they have me covered. The blinds fold, so we go heads up to a showdown and they show pocket sevens. Couldn't have been pocket fives or pocket fours for a flip. Nope. Let's go to a run out. The flop comes 8, 3, 4, turn is a 9, I'm down to an ace if I want to survive, and the river is a king, I'm out. After 5 hours of what was honestly some of the least fun I've ever had playing poker, I could have decided to take the loss and go home, but there's a juicy cash game table going on and uh, I should be able to make some of my buy-in back the way I've been running, right? Funny story, I sit down right next to the player who busted my kings in the first hand of the tournament. He proceeds to tell the story to the table as I look down at pocket kings in my very first hand at the cash table. Is this history repeating? Time for redemption? Let's see. There's a $10 straddle on the button which the middle position player and low jack call. I 3 bet to 40 from the cutoff and both the middle position player and low jack make the call. We go 3 ways to a flop of 10, 9, 4, all spades. Action checks to me, and I'm not really sure how to proceed. One thing I can tell you is that I should definitely do something else than betting 30 bucks, which is what I do. And the middle position player raises to 75. Great! The low jack gets out of the way, and it's back on me. I'm looking at the middle position player, and once again, not wanting to judge a book by its cover, but I'm getting a sense that they like to splash around. I decide to make the call, with the intention of getting to showdown as cheaply as possible. 
Heads up to the turn, which comes to Queen of Spades. Awesome. Middle position player bets 75. I make a reluctant fold, and it looks like I'm in for a fun session. I pick up Ace Jack off suit in the under the gun one position. Under the gun lips, I open to 15. Folds around to the button who calls. And then the big blind raises to 60. I fucking fold. In this one, we're playing a Texaha bomb pot. We're getting dealt six cards, and we have to make a hold'em hand using two cards, and an Omaha hand with four cards. Once the hands are made, we cannot touch them, and the pot is split between the winning hold'em and the winning Omaha hand. So I get dealt six cards, and I make the two following hands. King, Jack, Nine, Deuce, Double Suited for Omaha, and Pocket Sixes for Hold'em. The board comes 6, 10, 4 with two spades. I flop middle set in Hold'em, not much in Omaha. Since I currently don't have much of a claim to the Omaha hand, I decide to check. Undergun 1 bets 15, low jack calls, and then the cutoff raises to 75. Action is back on me, and watch this. I just straight up fold my set of sixes, fast forwarding to the end of the hand, and the cutoff showed pocket tens for top set. I didn't win, but I also didn't lose my entire stack, and the way this session is going, it's reason enough to celebrate. In this one, there's a raise to 15 from the undergun player, and I look down at ace queen. Always have to be cautious of an early position raise, but I'm going to 3-bet to 45 and see what develops. Action folds around to the blinds, and both the small blind and the big blind make the call. It's now back on under the gun, who 4-bets to 200. <coughs> I somehow find the discipline to not rip my stack in and fold. Small blind made the call, and they went heads up against the undergun player to a flop on which the small blind donk led all in for 420 blaze it. And uh, after a long tank, under the gun folded, claiming they had ace king suited, and the small blind claimed to have pocket aces. Yay, good job me for making another great fold. I've lost close to 400 bucks without seeing a freaking river, but I'm playing great! Hold'em is clearly not going my way. Maybe five card double board PLO bomb pot will be different. In this one, I get dealt ace king queen 6 6 with the nut diamond draw, a pretty decent starting hand, and the top board comes. 10 king 9 with 2 diamonds, and bottom comes 7 2 jack with 2 spades. I got the nut flush draw and a gut shot straight draw on top, not much on bottom. I check, hijack bets 20, cut off calls, small blind calls, under the gun calls. At this point, I'm getting great odds, so I make the call as well. The turn comes a 10 of hearts on top and a king of hearts on bottom. Well, my draws are worth nothing on top with the board pairing, as someone will most likely have a full house by the river, and I guess I pick up another gut shot straight draw on bottom. I check, the hijack bets, I don't remember what amount, I don't remember how many people called, but I folded. Top river came the 8 of diamonds, which would have given me the nut flush, but the cutoff had queen jack of diamonds and rivered the straight flush. So I guess the board pairing saved me some chips there. Again, gotta find joy in the little things. In this one, I pick up, ha ha ha, good old seven deuce suited. Action folds to me, and I'm pretty damn tilted, so you know what's about to happen. Stop. Whoa, what the fuck, what's going on? We are the, the poker gods. gods. Poker gods, yeah, right. Everybody knows there's no punch. Hey, you saw how I've been running. If I want to punt with seven deuce. Patience. You got me? How exactly do you Shut the fuck. fuck. Fine, fine. I fold. Very next hand, there's a limb from under the gun one. Middle position calls, and I look down at ace king in the cutoff. Hmm, okay. The low jack calls, and the hijack raises to 12 bucks. Holding ace king here, and with the poker god's blessing, I'm going to 3 bet to 40. Middle position player is the only player to decide that if their hand was good enough for 2 bucks, it's good enough for 40. This is the same opponent against whom I had kings when the board came all spades. I've been watching them limp and call almost anything pre-flop, and I have revenge on my mind. We go heads up to a flop of 4 jack 9 2 spades. Middle position checks to me, and against a range consisting of any two cards and a player who will literally call any bet, I'm not really sure whether to check or bet, but I ultimately decide on a check to pot control. The turn comes a 4 of clubs putting a second flush draw on the board, and this time, middle position leads for 30 bucks. I'm just going to make the call here and let them continue bluffing, which is what's most likely happening here. The river comes to 10 of diamonds, and just like with my kids' socks, I can't find a fucking pair. 
Middle position now bets 50 bucks and my mind was pretty much made up from the start. I was going to show down against this player, so I make the call, I flip my cards over. There's a slight moment of confusion as I think I just make the correct hero call. And then I realize my opponent has 10 of hearts and hit a pair of 10s on the river. <laughs> you set me up! <laughs> Damn you, poker gods! Okay, I'm now officially on complete tilt. In the very next hand, I pick up Queen Jack offsuit. There's an open to 13 from under the gun. Middle position makes the call. I put the rest of my stack in. Button calls, under the gun calls, middle position calls as well. A bunch of people go to a flop, a turn, and a river, which, surprise, surprise, did not contain a queen or jack or, you know, ace king 10, king 10 9, 10 9 8, and I am freaking done almost a thousand bucks in the hole. It clearly wasn't a lot of fun playing the session. If I'm honest, it was even less fun making a vlog out of it. So hopefully you still found it entertaining. And uh, I would really, really appreciate if you could smash that like button and uh, drop me a comment and maybe even subscribe if you haven't already. I debated putting this video out, but then I decided if I'm going to show the good, I might as well show the bad because that's just how poker goes sometimes. Don't worry, I'll be back to crushing soon enough, and I hope to see you there. In the meantime, thanks for watching, good luck at the tables, and catch you in the next one.